Hi everyone, Hannah here. So the first thing I wanted to try is these pencils. I bought these at the Dollar Tree, um, you know, as you know from my uh, haul video. And I'm just gonna soak them in some water for a little bit and see how that's going to work. Um, so I've had them in the water soaking for a little bit now, maybe about 15, 20 minutes. So I thought I would try it out. Um, it's actually looking pretty good, um, but I forgot to tear out the page and I don't want it to soak through on, onto the other pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear this one out real quick and just put it um, on top of the book here. So I, uh, I color a little bit with the pencil and then <clears throat> um, no more of it wants to color. So then I just dip it back in the water and then it, you know, colors some more. And so I just keep going back and forth doing the same thing. Um, <clears throat> and I'm trying to do where, I, I guess how I like to do my watercolors. I like to have depending on the way the object's going i either like to have it darker around the edges and a little lighter in the middle or darker in the middle or you know a bolder color and then kind of fade out into the edges so i'm trying to do that with the colored pencil it does not work very well in that aspect if you're wanting to get um i guess almost like a 3D effect with the watercolor. Um, I'm not really getting it with the pencils. It is still fun and I am enjoying using, I mean, I just like to color and paint whatever it is. Um, so it definitely is fun and very therapeutic. I had so much fun doing this. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> But yeah, I'm just gonna kinda go with the blue for a little bit, and then I'll add in another color, um, you know, so it's not so one-dimensional. You know, I just kinda wanna add another color in in a little bit to see how that's gonna work, if the colors are gonna mix or if they're gonna stay separate. Um, so we'll find out here in a minute. So now I'm gonna go and add some of the green. And, um, it kind of does mix a little bit and and blend in but I, it really depends on how much water you've got i find that if i have a little bit more water it will blend in a little better um, but really regular pencils they're really not made for water coloring so <laughs> unless you have nothing else to use these will, you know, more or less get the job done. But if you do have some watercolors, I would say, um, you know, to go ahead and use those. Um, something that is actually made for watercoloring, it's gonna get the job done better. But this was still fun. And um, I do go ahead and finish the uh, picture off camera. And, um, you know, I end up kind of working with some of the other colors with the mermaid's hair and her bikini top and um, and then the letters. So in some of the letters, I used um, that metallic marker that I showed in the haul video. I did that on some of the letters and then the other ones I used with the watercolor or well, the <laughs> in quotes watercolor pencils. Um, so now I wanna show you um, I went to grab these watercolors, which I have not used in ages. These, I had these when I was a kid, so I don't even know why I thought they would still work. <laughs> of course, they are all dried up. But we're going to see if we can bring these back to life. Um, so I'm cutting the bottoms of them to kind of open them up and get out some of the flakes here. Um, you know, little bits and put them in here. I, this first one, this first watercolor brush pen, I just put regular room temperature water. It wasn't hot, I just did regular uh, room temperature. 
and I'm just going to see if I can get the little pieces to dissolve. Um, just as shaking it up don't seem to be doesn't seem to be getting the job done. So I'm applying the bottom of my paintbrush, the end of it, and just kind of pressing it down. That is breaking it up um, and mixing with the water pretty good. And so now I'm going to give it another shake, see if I can get the rest of it kind of worked out of that end there. It's stuck at the bottom and I want to try to get it to mix well with the water and you know to bring most of the color out for the next picture. So I'm applying <clears throat> um, the paintbrush. I think the paintbrush, the bristles are gonna, you know, get down in there and get most of that out. And that seems to be doing the trick. So that's definitely a good way to go. If you've got a small paintbrush that'll fit down in there, you can just move it around and that'll, um, you know, get some of it out of the bottom. So I'm gonna give it another good shake to mix it well with the water. And I took another one of the pictures out of the book, and uh, I'm just, just trying it. These are the watercolor brush pens from the Dollar Tree, so let's give it a go and see how it works. It seems to be doing pretty good. Um, it did take a little bit to get going. I really had to you know, squeeze it and um, and some of it kind of oozes out the sides and so not really a big fan of that so I would say maybe a get it going first on a different surface or over a paper towel before you actually start on what you're going you know to be painting so I'm getting some pretty good color on the seat there that's good because I'm trying to make some places a little darker and some places lighter because that's what I like about you know watercolor painting is I like the subdued look of the colors and I like where some can be a little bit darker and some lighter you know kind of fade out that's I like that so I'm basically just going to use this color and just color the whole bike and again, I'm just kind of practicing with it just to see how this is going to work, if the Dollar Tree watercolor pen is going to work. Um, as far as, you know, bringing the, you know, old watercolors to life, that, that part's working. So if you've got some old, uh, you know, watercolor paint somewhere that's hardened, just mix it with some water, um, you know, just and, and press something down in there to break up those pieces and it'll mix with the water again. Um, so, so you don't have to throw it away and go out and buy new ones, just use what you've got. So now I'm gonna try with this blue and see if I can get it to work. So I finally got a little piece out there, so I'm gonna put it in. Now this, a watercolor pen. I put a hot water in it to see how that would work and it does help the hard piece dissolve quicker and so that it mixes with the water you know faster so the hot water does work pretty good and I'm just uh, doing this in the other watercolor pen because you get two in a pack for a dollar so I want to see how they work here. So just giving it a good shake here. And I'm squeezing it a little bit. This one's not wanting to do. It's not wanting to work. Because as I'm squeezing, it's coming up out of the side. It's not even coming. Uh, well, there we go. We're getting a little bit through the brush here. but I'm finding as I'm squeezing, most of it's wanting to come out the side, which you don't want that to happen. <laughs> so I would say at least if one of the watercolor pens work, it's a dollar and you've got a good bang for your buck. So hopefully at least one of those works for you. And um, 
And what I'm doing now, um, I've got some Prima watercolor here, really, really good paint. And I'm just practicing with it to see how that's going to work. Um, you know, so it, it doesn't really do very well. You can see how it's kind of squirting out the sides. Um, but at least we got one that works pretty good. So, and um, when the picture dries, you know, you'll get to see how it looks. And, and I like the look of it also. I'm going to go ahead and use it in my journal. Um, so thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, feel free to let me know. And stay tuned for the next video. Thanks so much.